Alright, what is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen? We finally got Guilty Gear in the busiest goddamn time of the year, where I'm really probably not going to be able to play it at all. I was actually kind of hoping that, um, because I got this yesterday, and unfortunately, you know, it's the holiday season, so I am working extra and stuff. Various things are going on. So obviously I don't have all the time in the world to learn a new fighting game. But I was hoping I would actually be able to go to uh, NorCal Dogfight this weekend. And just kind of, you know, have a base knowledge to be able to build off of. You know, like be decent enough that it wouldn't just be a complete waste of time. Because I actually, you know, I had some game knowledge and stuff. Looks like that's not going to happen. I got to spend about 15 minutes with this game yesterday. I am, the amount, I really shouldn't even be here right now to begin with. And I'll explain why in a second. Um, but so, I just, I don't have the time really necessary right now to learn the game, so it might be a little bit before y'all are seeing, uh, me hopping online and playing it, especially because I am picking a, like, I could pick a character, like, maybe Kai, Soul, somebody like that, who I would probably be able to learn significantly faster than I'll learn Chip, because Chip has a lot of, like, because one of his most important things is learning the spacing on this bad boy right there, so you can actually get both hits, combo off of it. He has a very nasty uh, vortex on wake up that you can do with this move, and so like you can just barely make him you know, jump over. I don't know any of the knowledge of it. I've just seen it happen. But he has a very nasty vortex utilizing this move, and it's very difficult to block. So you know, learning all that stuff is obviously going to be uh, necessary to run an optimal chip, and it's a lot of stuff that I just don't have the time to learn. Um, and the reason why is basically work. Obviously, is one of them. But today I woke up petted my little puppy uh you know showing her some love and stuff and notice her ear is swollen her ear is very swollen i'm assuming it's a hematoma but i want to go get it checked out to make sure that it's not going to be you know something that's going to cause her problems uh something that may end up hurting her etc etc because obviously that's a very real worry for me my dog i am not going to like sacrifice my dog's health in order to play a video game that's not going to happen so it's unfortunate if that had to happen, but I gotta take I gotta take care of the peoples in my life before I play a video game that doesn't care about me. They don't care about me. Plus, I've heard apparently the um, the netcode for this game is pretty fucked up right now. Like, it's not necessarily the netcode itself is fucked up. Like, it's got bad netcode, but that it's reporting false connection speeds. So you'll see somebody and be like, "Oh, hey, look at that. That's a three-bar connection." But the game is lying to you. Really, it's a negative two connection. But the game just doesn't know how to properly uh, process that and show it to you. And so it lists it as a three-bar connection. You're thinking you're going to give it something good. And then you end up getting backhanded by the internet. And so I guess it's kind of a good thing. You know, maybe they'll fix that before I actually get uh, to a level of comfort, comfort with this game. That I actually feel like I can play it and play other people. And not just be flailing around like a goddamn madman. Um... But yeah, so I've gone through, I've just gone through the tutorials, which, fuck, like, uh, I mean, I, I wish there was a way to just turn off the text, because when you're doing the tutorials, they have, like, an introduction, so I'm just sitting there mashing on the, on the button to just skip everything, just like, please, stop, I don't care, just let me work with the game mechanics, figure this shit out, and let me be done with it. But right now, the biggest thing is remembering what everything is. Like, I'm trying, I'm kind of, I've just been doing that right now. Because previously, I had it on this layout, which obviously, it helps you because now you know which button to press. But it also doesn't help you because nobody is going to be talking to you or being on, um, like, dust loop or something telling you, okay, you do standing circle, and then you do 236 triangle, 236 triangle, then you press square. X and triangle at the same time. Nobody does that. Nobody does notation like that. Everybody uses the game specific notation, which as you can see right here, P K S H dust. I don't know why it doesn't list dust there. I guess dust is just not important to the world. But so I've just switched it to this and now I'm getting used to it. This is P, this is K, this is uh this is this is this is S. That's H S and then that's dust. So that that's the stuff that I need to I'm trying to uh just get used to the notation, get used to how stuff is read, and so I can actually start pressing the appropriate buttons and not have to, like, stare at my state, like, okay, this one's P. Like, I'm an old person typing with one finger. This is S. This is K. Like, because <laughs> that's obviously not going to help you learn shit. Um, 
So I'm working on it. I'm getting there, but there's a lot of stuff to learn. This is a brand. This isn't Street Fighter. This isn't Marvel. This isn't Blaze Blue Persona. This is all new to me. All of it is new. The mechanics, the combo ability, uh, everything to do with this game is new. You know, I mean, obviously there's some similarities between fighting games. Regardless of what game you play, there's going to be some similarities there. But just in terms of like character movement, overall game speed, it's just everything is new. And so I got to, you know, take it one step at a time. And once I ha once I actually have the time available to me to start taking those steps, I will. But unfortunately, I just don't have that right now. Um, but anyway, I mean, I may as well just kind of do some stuff. Man. Like, dude, this dude is so fast. Like, damn, son. Like, look at that. Look at this dude's air dash. Look how much fucking ground he covers. Oops. <laughs> But yeah, that's crazy to me, like... Oops. Alright, oh, that's his overhead, and then you can combo off that, too. Hmm. Can he do two of these? Hmm. I think it has to do something with doing his, like, his wall climb, which I, is awkward as hell. I can't, I can't really do it consistently. How do you do... Oops. That wasn't it. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm just gonna end up mashing that shit. Can that actually hit? Doesn't look like I can hit on. Oh, okay, it can. But that is definitely an air to air combo tool. Oh, that's not jump cancelable? How the hell is that move not jump cancel? I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to just tell y'all I got the game. I'm playing it. I'm trying it. Uh, and I got a lot to learn. Because unfortunately, this is the main problem with trials. Like, this is... It's kind of useful to know that, like, you can do... Again... Everything to do with trials in general, very rarely will you see a combo that you're actually going to want to master and utilize as a BNB. However, this kind of thing right here, this stuff, that's useful probably. Is it oh, it is. Pink. Okay. Like that's pro that is probably useful, but not off of this combo. There's so much more you could do off of a Roman cancel, but that's probably still useful right there. Oops. See, I need to. I keep. Pre I don't know why I keep pressing. I keep pressing this when I try to press. When I try to do sweep, and I don't know why, but I need to stop doing that. And then same thing with actually. Where is it? I think oops, no, it's not same thing. Yeah, this one that I haven't done yet because of because of the mashing P thing. It was weird to me. The start of this combo, like that right there, up until the point where you're mashing on P six times. That actually seems like a very solid combo route, and I'm sure there's something significantly better that you can do uh, instead of just mashing on P6 times. And so, you know, when you go through trials, that's pretty much what almost all of the trials do. It shows you something useful, but then, like that right there, that, there's no way that's an optimal combo. He, ha he will have so many more things he can do for damage and stuff off of that. Off of a counter hit, whatever the fuck is that button is, HS. But almost everything has something useful in it, a useful element to it. And that's what you have to be looking for when you're doing these trials. Like, okay, what actually looks like? That's what I was trying to do, the Alpha Blade wall version. How do you do, how do you? I swear I've seen. Oh, he doesn't have anything right there. Oh, yeah. That's another, that's actually one of the things that make him dirtier. Like, oh, hey, here's an over. Oops, no, that wasn't supposed to be that. Here's an overhead for you. Are you gonna block that? No, I'm invisible. That's one of the things that definitely makes him dirtiest. Do you have to do it into Alpha Plus? Maybe. Oh, hang on. I really, I don't understand that move, I don't understand how you're supposed to combo with I don't know, whatever. 
See? All things that I need to figure figure out. I don't know anything. <laughs> so we actually just go to the ones that I think. Our dust over and dust are over it, right? Oh, do you? Oh, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to. Does that actually? I don't get whatever, whatever. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know nothing. Oh right, that's that's this is just to teach you a game mechanic. It's not actually to teach you teach you a game mechanic. It's actually need uh, that you need for this. Basically, that uh, that jump cancel that you do after the after this move normally wouldn't be available, but doing this move I believe actually gives you another jump cancel that you can do in the air. So yeah, I see like all sorts of stuff that I gotta learn. That's the main thing I need to learn with this character. Is being able to follow up that in the corner off of the wall stick. Because I know that gives him most of his damage. And it also gives him a knockdown. So I'm just kind of staring at this, trying to see, like... <laughs> I just need to go watch Sumido. I, I mean, plain and simple. I just need to go watch... There's, like, there's basically three various ways that you can learn combos. The first and hardest of them is learning them yourself, which very rarely will somebody manage to, like, come up with a completely optimal combo on their own. You have to be extremely knowledgeable of the game mechanics in general to be able to find, um, you know, that kind of stuff on your own. Damn, that's a big combo. <laughs> That did over 50%. That has a lot of minimum damage. That just did 70%. Holy shit. And that just that starts off of this. That starts off of that. Like, that's probably a pretty, like, you can probably do that pretty effectively off a of frame trap. It's not even a counter hit. It's just, it, you just start there. That is probably actually a combo worth learning. But yeah, so the second one is just, you know, going to somewhere like Dust Loop, going to an online forum where people gather and share knowledge and stuff. And you'll generally find good combos there, but, um, you know, early on in the, well, actually, this one doesn't really count early on in the game's life since it's been out in Japan. For however long, so obviously people have figured out optimal shit by now in Japan. You know, like there's really nothing left to figure out in this game. They figured it out. Um, but so you can look there for combos and just learn those that they have there. But again, there's no guarantee that those are going to be optimal. There's no guarantee that they're not going to be um, uh, improved upon in the future. That you know you're going to have to relearn them as more knowledge comes in as they get improved upon. And then the third one is what I'm going to do once I actually like know that all of this character's moves, so I can actually kind of like process them correctly like okay this is his jumping s this is his standing p you know whatever uh i need to learn so i can actually recognize what's going on and understand what's going on and then i'm just gonna go watch videos of Sumido. i'm gonna go see how he plays i'm gonna go see uh setups that he uses combos that he uses because he's the best chip in the world and so i'm just gonna steal all his shit and i'm gonna learn from him that's how i basically do it because i don't really i can sit there and i can stare at notation all day long it's not gonna help me but if i actually watch somebody else play like you've seen me just kind of pick up random characters they generally have to be pretty easy to use you know like they can't be extremely link based but i can pick up a fair amount of characters and even if my you know like my movement will suck with them my setups will suck with them i'll still be able to bullshit out a combo because i've seen it before and so like i know like okay these are the moves that i need to do in this chain in order to get a full combo out of this that's how that's how i learn stuff i watch it happen i'm like oh, okay 
so that's what you need to do here. So let's just continue doing that. But of course, that also re uh, requires a base knowledge of the character, so you can actually know which buttons to press and what what move is what. But that's how I learn, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have to once I finally have time to really sit down and learn this character's moves, I will do that, and then I'll probably spend you know like a day or so just watching Samito play and kind of just absorbing as much information as I possibly can, and then I will come back. And I will be the best that there ever was. I promise you that. I, 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 I don't promise you that because I like to hold to my promises and I like to not make promises that I can't keep. So I take that back. <laughs>